They're just splitting up the map amazingly well on OG right now. They still don't have these sentries, <laughs> man. Well, finally, finally one's one going to get dropped, but... Topson, okay for the moment. Seb's going to try and find an opening for the RP, but a beautiful Ooh, Delta split well. from Dyer, but like you said, Unleash is going to be committed. Mortimer kisses off to Ooh. the left side, so the damage going to come through inside the area control. The Marcy will go down. Now this has given plenty of time for the rest of the OG members to look to get involved. There's Resolution. will still go down off to the left side, but they're just continuing to kite Mr. Luck. All his attention put on to kick track. But that means that the rest of OG can just clean up some of the members on KZ. And Kitchak, he doesn't even go down. The Disruptor limps out to the right side. And now OG, oh. they'll turn their attention back over towards the Timbersaw. Once no one is able to find the Jinku stacks, that'll be enough for them to secure the team fight down to bottom. So they're going to look to try and make the rotation once again to take the engagement. Sneaky's going to be the sacrifice. They will get in range though for the glimpse back onto Mr. Luck is just on the outskirts. Seb's able to find the RP to hold him inside the Wukong's command. It'll take Energy. multiple ultimates to try and bring Mr. Luck down, but in the end, they'll secure the kill. Now, top lane though, Resolution might be in no some trouble, coming. but the mechanism going to be able to repair some of the damage. It looks like Topson might be a little bit too late to keep him alive, but the rebuttal, it should come out. Milky... Phase Boots trying to step into the tree line, but tops him, and no one, oh, no, of course, will oh, no. not let him escape. And <laughs> yeah, oh, it's still got two minutes on it. Well, they're looking for the toss back though on Sneaky, but no hesitation from no one. Just drops the BKB, making sure there's no opportunity to toss him deeper inside the base of Dyer. I think that's one of the ones where you just have to cut your losses, right? I mean, they might end up losing more. This is their last glyph. You know, it looks like they will. We're going to force a buyback out in the Invoker, but that completely renders his item progression now. There's just no way he's going to be able to keep up, and oh, geez, they don't know how again. to stop. That's a dieback out of the Invoker. The position two is gone, but the G's are dropped, and oh, gee. An incredible... Now, mid lane as well. Static Storm with the Mortimer Kisses. Great use of the Infest from no one. Is it enough to keep Topson alive? Tries to get the Rolling Thunder, the right click. Sneaky! <laughs> Oh, that's why they gave him the kill as the right click damage from the disruptor enough to get the kill, but it looks like it might be a grave cost as GTY looks to move in, but no one's not even going to go down. The bonus health coming out from the eye sustain, and now the rest of the goons have shown up to take the fight. Resolution jumps in. No one, no one's going to look to try and charge in the middle, but the rage instantly getting rid of the glimpse. In fact, I they want none of this team fight. Boom. Drop the tombstone on his dying breath, so no one's going to get some bonus gold. And meanwhile, with the tree line, once again, Kit Track getting an extra use out of the Mortimer Kisses. So, I'll secure the kill onto the snap fire in our Sneaky, where he's going to end up going down as well with the relocate. Just closing that distance ever so slightly. Mid lane, eh? what's going on here? Milky and G2. Aye, this is just two members against all the boys soon to be from the lads on raiding. It's Topson and Resolution. It's the easy kill onto Milky. And our G2I what? is looking to try and play around by the haze, swing around the rosy, but okay, they're able to close it. GTI is going to look to try and charge in. They're going to try to address Seb on the IO. The damage coming through for the Mortimer Kisses will Got enable the kill. Now, Topson's also trying to chase down Milky. Sunder still cooled out for the moment. He's able to sidestep some of the swashbuckle damage. Topson, can he get the last remaining Two tick? Seconds. It's not going to be enough. He's going back. Topson? I guess he's just looking to make space because Resolution and no one, they've shown up to the party bait. under the tier 2 tower. No concerns at all as no one with the infest bomb gets himself a triple kill and will be able to close the distance with ease to chase the primal beast into the tree line. I mean, that was a complete... He's honestly so lucky that they didn't, like, get his courier too because there'd be nothing worse than losing that BKB timing. They see low skill kit trap. That poke away just a little bit, gets the psionic traps. Look at how far Thompson is back here, just throwing out the hits on the sweet strength. Look at the global science. They've already used the roar, but Rezo, he will end up dying because the rest of the team is very, very split up. Seb over here, too, not looking too great. They've already lost low skill. So Seb going to try to hop down to the bottom. He sees Thompson. Can they turn this around? Can they get the kill over onto Lace? Ooh. They can, but they will end up losing Thompson. And they'll lose Sweden strong, too. That was a nice dive in by Ember. Not want to lose it. Big sweaty. They Both drop teams. another trap in. They've already got the hawk over on the side. That's about to time out. 
do put some plays over onto uh, Kidaro here. They get the lift, they've got the vision. There's just no silencer, and this Roche is up and running. But you see Lorna, he dives into the back lane. He wants to get rid of Kitrek as fast as possible, and it looks like he's going to be able to do that. Global Silence is going to get used. A nice Dawnbreaker ulti followed up with the Starfisher. Oh my goodness, Ooh, Thompson the getting yo-yoed around. They Ooh. have to finish him off, and he's still alive during all this while Lorna is getting kicked down. They'll end up losing Lace. Somehow Thompson alive during all of that as they just start running over at the side of Puck Champ. Yeah, and he's that still not yo -yoing safe. yo-yoing moment. Oh my god, they're still going too. They want low skill. Low skill gonna have to use his BKB and teleport away because it's just fairly <laughs> decent going in. But because they couldn't finish off tops and it felt like just a lot of, of just concern. He's with Nero over onto low skill. He doesn't have that BKB available. He's already using Kadaro, just trying to run away from tops. And he's just blinking away out of this force forward. Going in for a little bit more here. As low skill sitting behind him. He doesn't even notice. He's got his eyes just so focused on Lace. They've already taken that low skill. Couple more clicks. This is feeling like old G. Very, very confident. See a slight coming out here from Lord. Off. They're going to go for that Solar the Garden. They'll finally be able to take down Kent Track, but their eyes are, of course, over on top. So they're trying to close the gap. Roar from Rezo onto the back lines, onto Lace. It's looking like they're going to lose the Dawnbreaker. Sweet and strong drop in the tree. Seb hops forward, gets the kill. And this is looking like the end. But. Puck Champ, they're already going on you know, one. They're gonna go for the Terrorize Media. There's the BKB. Comes out. Nice RP though. Over on to the backlights. Over on to two. But they'll follow it up now with that storm. And they'll end up getting laced. Not gonna be able to do it. And they just pop Kidara completely. So they have their own BKBs over here on the side. Big Dagger over on to Sweden Strong Resolution. Trying to put out more damage. They've got the Brambles down too. Not looking good for Sweden Strong. He's going to end up dying. Three dead on the side of Puck Champ. That opens the door now for they the Reva Gem of on Resolution. Those skill goes in. They'll go and find themselves the nature's prophet. Looks like Kit Track, though. Oh, it looks like he's going to survive because no one is here. He jumps in. The pushback is a special delivery from Seb. He says, I heard that you like to kill Dark Willows. And we've got one right over here. No problem. The dagger comes in, even though she gets stunned up by the Cursed Crown. Still, oh, no. They see Willow. No, they gotta go for her. I mean, Lace is here. So is the... Ooh, oh, Lord. Off immediately jumped in. But there it is. There's the black hole. Over on to Kit Track. Over on to no one. They're not going to be able to get it out. Time. So follow up though, Seb, with a great RP. They absolutely pop here. Trying to follow up with some more damage. Now one, yes, they managed to get the kill, but now Lord off, he's getting clicked down here by resolution. He wasn't expecting this damage, like you said. As low skill looks like he just wants to teleport the heck out. Wow. He gets out. They pop back over on the PA. Sweet and strong running for his life. Now is going to get just dragged back here by Seb. Another couple of clicks and they just push him right through. This is looking very scary now for Puck Champ. They are very reliant on that. Again, the blink forward here coming out for Sweet and strong. He's hoping that he can get tossed back, but he's not able to do it fast enough. He's going to be able to go get pushed out here. The jump back in the toss back. He's gone very deep here over onto no one. Can they finish him off? Yes, that's going to be an Aegis. No black hole yet. The second time, though, is the question. The meatballs get dropped. They've the got stone? the first crown out to the back line zone from Seb. Trying to keep him alive. Trying to get the save. We'll be able to skewer forward. The BKB is coming out. Mass the buybacks will come out as well. As you can see, Seb clicking away over here. Going to be able to take down the Lashrek. Low still running for his life now. Mirage might be in some trouble. Oh, he's actually going to look for the play under the tower. The Glyph is keeping Thompson alive for the moment. They won't get that re-aggro to potentially turn it back oh, around. They won't so continue to hunt the Tiny down because they're going to look to invade back inside their own jungle. They want to reoccupy the area. Meanwhile, Static Storm's going to get layered down with a toss. Sending Thompson back into the middle. They're lacking some damage at the moment. I'll secure the kill onto the eye. Now with Shad showing up as well. They play the distance to find the double in the end. But they're still going to be cautious. Resolution in combination with no one. They're going to be able to chase down Mirage. We'll connect so this into some damage onto the T1 tower as well. Actually, bottom lane. Resolution looking for the solo kill. Symmetrical is going to attempt to TP out, but... It is not fast enough. And now back to mid lane we go as Mirage. He'll toss Seb to the middle, but that gets him closer for a bigger Echo Slam. As Seb now, once again with the fissures onto multiple members, Seb is going to be able to evade that attempt, moving over to the high ground. Mirage doesn't have the damage to blow him up. Oh, that's a cute play. Okay, I think Rezo just saw him at the last second. He'll be able to leap on over, following up onto the high ground. No spot is safe for Mirage. They made that initial attempt onto Seb, and he's going to be the one. How do you mount a defense? So this tower's already gone down, and... Only quick reactions. 
Raj gonna try and get the toss here, but resolution, BKB. instant use of the BKB. Aurora's gonna hold him into place, but it's not gonna matter. No one four stuffs even further inside the base as there's just no escape for Betrayed. And with Shad, he's gonna try and get some revenge, but resolution protected with the grave. Mortimer kisses are getting laid down as well, but they are just oh, shrugging off all of the damage. You really got to make sure you're taking out this eye or the dazzle first. They are the linchpins of all of this, but you know, with all the time that this is waiting, look at Seb. He's just hanging around on the top Pass side. back. Okay. No one. Not enough though. They they tried to go for that toss into Cookie to to further reposition him under the tower and oh, Fissure on three from Seb. Die back on Mirage and this is. I might be the territory where you got to call. I'm ready to go. They really want to try and take this T1 tower. They'd love to get Topson along with it, a symmetrical. Trying to charge on over, but it's just going to end short. They still were able to get Vision to collapse Topson back, but with the Static Storm getting layered down, Topson's going to be okay for the moment. Oh, gee, they've reacted. Multiple members looking to get into the middle. Except they're onto the Shadow Fiend. This is a huge streak if they can find a Mirage with a charge in, but it's not enough to keep alive enough symmetrical. Just sends himself into the grave, digging his own. And now with the Undying as well. No escape for poor old Angel. A three for nothing. All right, he's just, gonna yeah, going to look to try and use his scepter to try and get on top of Resolution, who Pretty is going to be forced to pop an early BKB, but Shad's in trouble now. Resolution's going to stand strong. Meanwhile, inside the middle of the fight, they've been able to deal with the first life. Mirage, can it get in range for the Requiem? going to look to try and charge it up the tree line, but the fall-up damage is just not there. No one standing strong. He can look to turn waveforming over the tree line, looking to utilize the Primal Beast Replicate as well. They don't have the damage to bring down the Spectre for the moment, so no one is going to be cautious, just waiting for the rest of the boys to connect, and now they can go back up the high ground. It's own me. He'll be chased down. Angel will not have the same fate. He's happy with surviving, but I mean, they'll force out a buyback out of the disruptor. I mean, that pretty much feels like the only way maybe a team fight can turn back around if Mirage is somehow able to find a huge Requiem. The last set of barracks is now exposed and no one in resolution both together are just beating onto the barracks. No one's even going to drop the tombstone as well just to cover what a stun! Oh. Seb! How? A stun on to two. The instant fall from no one. Now they're going to push Mirage back inside the fountain, but this is mega creeps against the world. What can you do on Betrayed? And they know there's no way for them to find an angle back in.